Coming to you from the floor of the CME Group, I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. It's Wolfman Wednesday, February the 1st, all right? So anyway, what I got to talk about is the ISM number. The ISM number came out, it wasn't very good. Basically prices paid kind of shot up through the roof. It was expected around 47, came in 55. That's not good for anybody. That was, means prices are starting to go up. We're seeing that here in the corn. The dollar's getting devalued, so other commodities are starting to rise. Well, that's an effect of what the uh, administration is doing with the dollar. They're weakening the dollar. The market expects more weakening of the dollar. Therefore, all these commodities are starting to rise. One thing that's kind of bucking the trend today, we got oil falling off back below $100 a barrel. That's because the refinery report came out today. It was a little bit better than expected. Reserves are a little bit higher. Therefore, supply's higher, demand's lower, the price is going to start coming off a little bit, all right? So, onto the grain, or onto these grains here. The big market talk this morning was there's still a drought going on in the southern hemisphere and in Mexico. Basically, 22 uh, million metric tons expected versus the uh, analyst predictions of about 28 million metric tons. So that's a lot lower. The price has kind of shot up this morning. But then all this rumor coming about, I've been talking about it forever, the government needs to stop these subsidies with the oil, with the grains. All of this, farmers need to be able to produce more, therefore lowering the prices of these commodities in this room. Well, that, that rumbling is starting to go on in Congress. These guys are catching note of that. So basically the market's come off about it a dime, or basically a nickel, sorry. It was up a dime earlier on in the day. We're up about four cents. It looks like it's going to start trailing off as these two rumors start popping around where you got the bulls against the drought. We got the bears with the uh, corn subsidies. So that's kind of a big play right now here in the grain room. On to the financials. The S&Ps. The S&Ps are really rallying. They've kind of busted through a couple of those resistances that I showed you uh, earlier on in the week. Now we're up against 1348. It's my next major resistance. We're anywhere between 20 and 48 right now. That 48 is going to be a major resistance. On the downside, I still got about 1310 uh, below that 1303. That's that huge pivot area. And once we got above that, it was kind of off to the races. And the bonds, we've had this several day rally going on. It looks like it's starting to fall off a little bit. Even though the economic numbers came out today weren't so great, the numbers this week haven't been great all in all. We're just kind of trudging along in this economy. Nothing's really happening. But anyway, on the upside, that 145.03 was a major obstacle to overcome. We saw that that's still going to be a major support resistance area. Above that, 146.08 still intact. I think that's a target that the bonds really were looking at. If we can get through this 143.03 or 145.03 area, that should be on the uh, on the radar. Down below that, 144.08 is going to be my first major support today, um, or in the next few days. And 142. 25 is just a bit below that. So there's not a whole lot of support, big gaps on the downside, just because we've rallied up so fast in this last week. The market value is kind of perceiving it. Market value in the bonds a lot lower than where we are. So you could see some massive sell-off to back and fill, all right? That's all I got for you today. I'm Wolfman Wednesday. If you can't take that, take it easy.